Hey everyone, it's Luther from Anime Girl, and I'm back again with another unboxing video. Today I've got eight boxes to take a look at, four boxes of model kits, and then over here I've got four boxes of figures to take a look at. Then we also got one box over here. This is a Sumo Fish t shirts but that's going to be its own video. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see, starting things off, we've got a bag of capsule toys. These are some Steampunk Kirby capsule toys. Now we don't have any capsule machines, so you'll be able just to pick out the ones you want. But they're still pretty neat little figures. Next up, we got some more capsules. These are Gundam heads. So in the past, we've had these little capsule Zaku heads. Uh, these are the same things, but with Gundams. There's three different variants, ARC-78, Full Armor, and ARC-78-3. Here we've got a big old ReZero poster. This is just a group shot, and I think the poster is like five plus feet long. It's it's a huge poster. And the rest of this box is just a smaller box. See here's some mystery bag Godzilla figures. This is a variety of little figures from different Godzilla films. Here we've got a ramen topper of Kaiba. Here we were able to get a restock on the Tom Duck plush. And just so Nook's not lonely, we also got some Cap'n. This can help make up for the fact that he's not in New Horizons. Unless they put him in an update. I wouldn't know. Haven't played the game in eight months. You've got a restock on a Mihawk figure. Then we also have a Boa figure. Here's another One Piece figure of Rebecca. Then here's another figure of Vivi. Here we've got some Final Fantasy headphones. Now these headphones are solid enough. I've tried them out and they're sound fine. Then we also got some Fate ones as well. We've got Ryder. And we've got Saber. Here we've got a prize figure from Caligula. Here we've got a restock on a Tanjiro Vibration Stars figure.
We also got a restock on the Ninja Ram figure. Here we've got Caster from Fate Grand Order. Here we've got a restock on a, another Boa figure from One Piece. Then here's a restock on an EXQ figure from that time I got reincarnated as a slime. Here's an EXQ figure of Miku in a, in a bike outfit. I have seen this figure out of its box before and I was quite impressed with the texturing on her racing suit. We've got an EXQ figure of Madoka. Best thing about this figure is definitely the QB floaty. I feel like they should just make a one to one scale of that, that QB floaty. And this box seems to be all. Yeah, this is all high Q minifigures. Here we've got the Jeans Freak of Zoro, or the Not Safe for Rough Housing as I like to call them. Here's a figure of Vegeta looking like he's ready to brawl. Here's a figure from the One Piece movie Gold. Here we've got here we've got Ace from One Piece, looking rather spicy. Here we've got the Q Posket of Nezuko. Here are some more Haikyuu minifigures, though this is a different figure line. You've got restock on Inosuke with his boar head. Then we've got also got a restock on the on the Animal Friends minifigures. See here is a prize figure of Azaku 2 from Gundam. There's two variants of this. There's a full clear one as well as a half and half. Here's the Q-Posket of Tanjiro to go with that Nezuko. Now Q-Poskets are just a line of stylized figures in that kind of chibi style. Then 
You are now on to model kits. Here is a model kit of Zero from Mega Man in his nightmare colors. Here is the Shen Getter 1 from Getter Robo. Now this is a pretty thick looking robot. Here we've got a new release. This is an entry grade Common Rider Saber. Entry grades are kits made for basically beginners to build, although they typically have pretty solid detail, so I know a lot of people who enjoyed the other Common Rider entry grade. Here we've got some weapon set, Kotobukiya. These are designed to work with frame arms girls and the standard frame arms mechas, but they work just fine with Gundams as well. Here's some more option parts. This is a skirt, which I believe is off of a different Frame Arms Girl, but now you can have it as just a standalone accessory for your other model kits. Here we've got a restock on the Ultimate Sun Gohan. This is a relatively recent release. And here we've got the Handscale and Ascentia. Handscale model kits are just smaller versions of their larger uh, Frame Arms Girl counterparts. Here's another option part set. This is just like a crazy chainsaw thing, but I think you can also equip it in a way where it becomes like Heelys for your robots. Here is the Stylet Frame Arms Girl, which is kind of a classic Frame Arms Girl. Here's that Tomama model kit from Sergeant Frog. Here, oh. Here is Kululu from Sergeant Frog. Here is the Dororo Mar 2 mecha from Sergeant Frog. I don't know if this particular mech actually shows up in the show, but still a pretty neat looking robot. Here is the Giroro Mar 2. Here we've got a restock on the Pokemon Lugia model kit. Then it looks like there was a figure hiding amongst the model kits. This is a Kotobukiya Bisojo figure of Sniper Wolf from Metal Gear Solid. Looks like this tiny box has just Dororo model kit. As well as a Reshiram model kit from Pokemon. This is one we haven't had in a while, the Gundam Finale. Here we've got the Kamiki Burning Gundam. This is a new release. This is uh, Mari's Evangelion from the recently delayed Evangelion 3.0 plus 1.0. I 
I've heard all the Eva kits have been great, so I expect this one to be a nice build as well. Here we've got the Tri Burning Gundam, which is a completely different model kit from the Kamiki Burning Gundam. We've got the Star Build Strike Gundam. Here we got Rumble Rails Boogoo. Here is the Lightning Gundam from Gundam Build Fighters Tri. Here we've got Gundam Unicorn. Then here we've got the Providence, which is definitely a slick looking model kit. I had a customer bring one in on display and it looks absolutely fantastic. And here we've got a Gunner Zaku Warrior from Gundam Seed. I hear this is a pretty solid kit. I think it just came out 2020 or 2019, so it's not that old of a kit. And that's going to do it for today's shipments. It ended up being another kind of longer unboxing video. But we definitely got a bunch of great stuff in today. A bunch of great restocks on some prize figures. These ReZero posters are just absolutely insane. As well as a few cool new releases in the model kits. But as always, if you want to stay fully up to date with what we get in at the shop, be sure to check our Facebook and our website where we will post a list of what comes in. Uh, those lists usually go up a day or two before these videos are able to come out, so it's a great way to get a head start and seeing what comes in. If you're interested in seeing the stuff out of that Sumo Fish box, be sure to check back here in a day or two, and I will have an unboxing video for just those t-shirts. And thanks for watching.